All right, guys, so this is a cute, fun, interactive sheet that I created on Canva. It's a grocery store list for your kids, so if you struggle to keep your children entertained while you shop, let them help you shop. So for the Edible Sand project that we're gonna do today, we need these items, so I created a list, put the picture by it, and Amelia, my niece, and she's four, she's gonna help me find these items while we're in the store. It's gonna be almost like a scavenger hunt. That. <laughs> and that way um, she'll be entertained and I get what I need done. So your, your job, you have a very important job to do today. Okay. Your job is to make sure that I don't forget anything on the list that we created, right? Okay. So that means you look at it, once we get it, you check it off and then we move to the next list. Can you handle it? Yes. I think you can too, high five. Have your list? Yeah. Let me see your list on your phone. Good girl. All right, she's ready. <laughs> you silly goose. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're on our way to the store. Come open the door. Okay. <laughs> what do you do? What do you want to say? Yeah, I don't, I'm not saying nothing. I just want to take a bath on your bike. <laughs> Come <laughs> on, get in the car. We're here at Food Line. We're here, ready, ready? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, yeah. Big, a little but one. But it's big like this one. I know, we want a little one though. Brown sugar? Yes. Okay. Think this okay. one will be fine? Yeah. It's, it's the same? same? Yeah. It is, good job. Good, what's next? I, okay. <laughs> Put it in. <laughs> Find the paper, does it look the same? <laughs> yes, it is. That's what it looks like to me. Put it in. Put it in. Guys, so we've got all the things that we needed. Here was the list that we used, and this is the recipe for our edible sand. This is our little setup of all the things that we got from the store. And Amelia, you ready? Hi. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna first start over. Start with a bowl that we're gonna put all of our ingredients into. This goes later, um, and we're gonna start out with one cup of flour. Yeah. That? All right, put it in. Yeah. Hold on, wait, don't put it in that one. I'm gonna get a bigger one. Put it in. Good, that's one cup. One cup. There's another one. Here's another. And, uh, another one. All right, here. Okay. Ready? Okay. Put it in. Okay, I'm gonna pack. No, put it in. Okay, she wants to pat it. Oh, hold on. All right, guys, so she's patting. All right, dump it in. Dump it in. Dump it Make sure it gets into the thing. Yes, look at my eyes. It almost looks like cinnamon. It does. Next is our flower. Flower! So this is four cups of brown sugar, guys. Now we need four cups of... Flower, sugar. Flower. And go. Woo! Woo! That's two cups. Mm -hmm. All right. I put some brown sugar in there. Now, you guys, we're going to stare. So this is what it should look like mm -hmm. right now. Y'all see? Mm -hmm. Right now, it looks kind of, but we're going to stare it up because it doesn't look that cool right now. So, well, you're staring. So now, you guys, we're gonna mix. Uh oh. Uh oh, hold on. I'm gonna get you a stool. Okay. Stay there. Okay. Now, you guys, it says to add in a few drops of coloring and the vegetable oil. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. And now we're going to stare it up. All right, Amelia, stare. While she's staring, I'm adding some more vegetable oil to it. To make sure it goes to sand. Yeah. Stir it in good. Stare Going fast. It in. Stare, She's staring it stare, in. Stare. Doing such an excellent job. Stare. Stare. You did it. Stare. Good stare, staring. Stare. Can I help you? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's see. So this is what it looks like right now with all the ingredients, but I'm gonna try to stare it, it in. Like yeah, we added and food coloring, good. but the food coloring didn't, it wasn't as much. So we have to put some more in there. That's so we're using too. purple. Oh, so, so. 
It's gonna go to purple sand. It's supposed to. Oh yeah. Maybe if we add the rest of the the coconut oil. Okay, I think it will work. Coconut oil. So we added in the rest of the coconut oil. And let's see if it works. That's right. Let's see if it works. I don't know, y'all. It's um. It's oh well, it kind of feels like it. It feels. It does feel like moon sand, y'all. Like, I see, a little bit see it's starting to clump. Um, but I don't know about the coloring part of it. Yeah, it's turning purple. We might have to put like a lot. And I got gel, so I, hold on. Let me see if I have a different kind. I have a different type of food coloring, y'all, um, that we're going to try in there. Ooh. Pick one of these colors, Amelia. I think I will pick hmm, this one. <laughs> okay, so she chose this, like, turquoise, green, blue. I don't know. We're going to let her put some drops in. Here. Okay. Here. Squeeze. Good girl. Squeeze. All over. Squeeze. All right, that's good. All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like. We're going to stare it in. See how it turns. Right. All right, guys. So oh, we yeah. added, we had to add some more oil to it, but still it's not really turning out the way we want. So it looks just like regular sand, even though we put food coloring and I think it's because I needed oil-based food coloring and not gel food coloring. So it just looks like sprinkles in your sand, basically. Yeah. But it was still a really good it's still a really good experiment to be able to do. Did you enjoy it? Yes. You did? Mm-hmm. So it yeah. still feels like, it doesn't give, it just gives me the texture of like crumble. I mean, it, it's sand, but not moon sand. It still feels me, it feels me like, it looks like sand. It, yeah, she know. thinks it feels and looks like sand. She's satisfied, but I know it's supposed to be moon sand. Um, so it's still a good activity to do with your kids. Um, so, uh, I would recommend it, but if you're like a parent that doesn't like messes in your kitchen, this is not the thing for you. If you don't like clean up after your kids, or if you feel like it should be like low maintenance type of thing, this probably is not a good idea because look, <laughs> this is, this is what they'll do. Make a mess. But because I am a big kid myself and I don't mind messes, I know that kids learn through making messes. It doesn't bother me. Um, but I can't understand why some parents don't really want to deal with messy things. But if you have time and you have the ability to make this, do this with your child. All right, guys, we're going into Harper's game. Ready? Amelia, you yeah. excited? Yeah. She said she was so excited earlier. So we're going to see Harp play. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, yes. I absolutely love being an auntie, and it warms my heart that me and my BFFs and their kids get to hang out. I miss them. I love them. So it's the next day. Um, you have to let it sit. We let it sit, and when I woke up this morning and opened it up, it does kind of feel like moon sand. It's pretty neat, though. You can see the speckles. It didn't color well, but you can see the specks of color. It's like sprinkled sand, kind of. But I would say it's a good try. You guys should try it out. Um, I think if you are a person, though, that doesn't like messes, this might not be for you. But um, I think it's worth a try, though, for your kids. Try it out. <laughs>